That's what day it is. Today is the last working day in the Dallas shop. And right now, we've got a whole vehicle. So I will give you guys a very extensive, many walk arounds of this thing. Um, but this afternoon, I wanted to just give you guys a brief little look-see because I'm pretty much done. Yeah. What's the list say? The list says oil cooler fittings, valve covers, prime the oil system, plugs, wires, fuel vapor, purge, brakes, bleed them, clutch, breed it, add the coolant, add the power steering fluid, uh, test the electrical. I already did that. Everything works. Ooh. Uh, make a list for the tuner, get a base map, fire it. Ah, yes! Yes! Finally! <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's get a flashlight. Let's do that. I can't give you all the details, but I will give you some. Means we got her all opened up here. All right. So we've got, I don't know. I don't know. We got a whole bunch of crap going on in here. So, whew, let's see how I can hold the flashlight for you guys. One-handed flashlight camera action. Oh, I turned it off. Huh? Huh? All right, we got it. Okay, so. Uh, we tested all the electrical, all of our breakers work, all of our systems work, water pump works, power steering pump works, cooling fans work, all that good happy stuff. Um, oil cooling system is living happy down here. There's the thermostat. Mm. Got all of our wiring taken care of. Um, there's the relay for our external uh, systems that we put in, water pump, power steering pump, trigger wire. Keeps it all nice and tidy. Um, there's a fuse for the water pump hiding down underneath there. There it is right there. And there's a fuse for that. Whoo, re-ran grounds. Uh, I spent a shitload of time in here tucking and running these and re-wrapping them and making sure that I got it as tidy as I possibly could. I think I did a pretty good job here. So um, we went through and tucked all these uh, power wire. So the power wire comes in and then goes down behind and then it's heat shielded and runs down by the headers. Uh, the main harness is shielded. Everything's super secure in here. Nothing can really move. Everything's tidied and tied. Um, the Durrell oil cooler, um, these are the oil fittings that I'm waiting on. Those should be here Saturday, not the 10 a.m. lines, but the these are actually 5 8 18 to a 10 a.m. swivel fitting, line fitting. So I tried to source them locally and nobody had anything. So they're coming from Amazon. 
I can't pressurize and put like 90 pounds of PSI into this thing until I get these right fittings. So we'll throw these fittings in and then I got two little plugs to put in the thermostat and then uh, we can pressurize and pump up the oil system. The reason I haven't finished up the valve covers and the oils and spark plugs and wires is because I'm going to pull these valve covers off. I'm going to use the pressure pot that I got over here and I'm going to pressurize the oil system and the entire motor and fill up both filters, fill up the oil cooler, fill all this stuff up and then before I fire it I want to visually see the oil pump up through the push rods and then spill off the top of the rocker and then come back down and then start my circle here. So I want to spin this motor manually while I pressurize it so that way it'll prime the oil pump and then also at the same time I want to force oil all the way through the bottom up and through the top up to spill back down and then I'll have a full circle of oil in the engine compartment and I'll have a full circle of oil out through the cooling system. Um, everything as you can see is super tucked and super smashed in here. So normally the battery rode right over here where our, where our power steering pump is and also our washer fluid bottle sat there too. So we've moved obviously power steering pumps over here, delete bracket over here, and then these see these little jugs in here. I've got one here, this is the radiator overflow. And it runs down and under with this one. And then I've got a secondary can over here. This is windshield wiper fluid. And I had to delete the factory, factory tank and the factory pump and the wire trigger for it. And so the new pump is over here and the new wire trigger down underneath it. And then there's the lines that run in there. And then it runs up to the tank. And we'll fill that. Go up to the squirters. Cool. Squirters. Radiator overflow. Uh, oil thermostat. Oil cooler. Um, here's our electrical. How to run the fans. We've got hose clamps coming Friday to finish off the radiator. Uh, I didn't want the cheap clamps, so I'm going to get some decent. I got some decent black ones coming in, so these black ones will be going on there. Then I can fill the cool uh, cooling system up. I'm going to tidy this up and wire that pigtail. It's the last wire thing that I need to do. It's sitting on the desk. Uh, I'll do that on Monday when you know the fittings come in. Uh, Momo race wheel is installed with the quick release. Uh, we were not able to. I don't know what the deal is with Momo, but the, the horn button falls through the horn. And so in order to make this work with any car, apparently you've got to get an extra like retainer ring or something that they didn't send with me. And then even if I do that, um, the horn button sticks off the back of this thing. And so I would have to modify or add another spacer plate to it. And then even having all of that said, if you want the horn button to work, when you take this off, you'd have to reach back here and manually disconnect those wires every time. So we're going to save that for another day. <laughs> Wheels on it, quick releases on it, wires are pre-ran and hung, so that's all good. But I, yeah, that's whatever. That's a personal preference thing on the customer's part, so we'll deal with that later. Uh, here's a battery, Dakota Lithium, 60 amp hours with 1,000 cold cranking amps. That battery weighs eight pounds. Yeah, it weighs eight pounds. Uh, so the way this thing got wired, um, we go battery, and then we go 250 amp breaker, and then we go quick disconnect, and then we come back into the car. So what basically what we're doing is from the battery to the fusible link, we're stopping fire potential. So if it shorts from here to here, this breaker will trip. Um, if it when it goes through the body of the car, if we if we uh, short here anywhere, we'll trip that breaker coming back through over to here. So this is two 200 amp breaker, and then this is the main line two gauge wire supply line all the way up to the front, and then that's runs down along the rocker, comes up, 
And then there's a hole back here in the firewall that I found way down here that I poked through the rubber grommet. And so it's running through rubber grommet and comes down through there. Goes down to the starter, off the starter, up to the power steering, off the starter, over the main block, and then down underneath there, we've got our positive connection for our alternator. Uh, uh, like I said, uh, everything tested out 100% today, uh, including the fuel pump, which sprayed gas all over my engine compartment. Yeah, I did that. Uh, fuel pump works. Like I told the wife, it was either gonna be oil or coolant or fuel or something was going to spray on that motor is inevitable <laughs> um the wide body oh the wide body man 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 this wide body factory wide body gaps we got our brackets we got our trim and we got our wide body brackets in here. So this thing's flared uh, about an inch and a quarter here. And you can see how much of a flare we got in the front end. This is mounted to the head, the factory headlight bucket. And you can see how much we pulled this body out. Now it's got a good bulge to it and a good flare out here. And then the same thing in the rear to get these monsters on there pulled it and we rolled it and we did a whole bunch of fun work to it and those are uh those are a 19 by 12 the 325 35 this is a 19 by 11 with the 305 35 or maybe no that's probably 315 actually i think Woo! no i lied 305 30s that way i don't make a liar out of myself 325.30. So, um, let's see here. You guys want to go for a ride? We'll go for a ride. one that one all right so these are just the o2 sensors i just got to pull those up and give them a securement that's no big deal uh, this is the one that's going to get wrapped up and tucked Ooh, you guys want to see some exhaust my custom white pipe and yes, we had no choice but to pie cut it. So we're all pie cut and bent. And this thing is super tight. And we kind of went off over the axle. A couple of pie cuts there and then we came back around here uh, flow master and then we went two and a half out with the tips pretty happy with the exhaust I am uh, not going to claim myself to be a professional welder. I know how to weld and know how to make it on there. Some of them look pretty pretty. Some of them leave something to be desired. That's okay. It's on there. We're not going to worry about it. Uh, frame stiffeners, subframe connectors, all good. Suspension's pretty well dialed. Um, one more check on ride height when we bleed the brake system. Um, and yes, just to remind you guys, this car maintained all of the creature comforts. We've got power steering, we've got air conditioning, we've got traction control, we've got ABS, we've got all of it. So uh, it is a race car, but this is one of a kind. 
calipers are all painted, plumbed, uh, brake lines are in. When I put the diff cover on and fill the pumpkin up, I'm going to finish securing these brake lines back here. I've got the clamps to do that, so no biggie there. Hanger. There's the other hanger. And the torque arm. So, I don't know what else to talk about right now. I'm kind of in a brain fog, but uh this is the last working day of the Dallas shop, so I wanted to do my due diligence and give you guys a walk around and show you kind of what was going on with the Camaro. Uh, El Camino is going to go to the new shop, and uh, Buick's going to go to the new shop. Camaro's going to go to the tuner in the interior shop. So. <sighs> Wear my glasses like a good boy. Um, I just really wanted to say how much I appreciate you guys throughout this process. Uh, if some of you guys are here to, you know, watch the shop updates. Uh, some of you guys are here because of the the most recent uh, fiasco that we went through, and some of you guys are here just because you're cool peeps. So I just wanted to say that this is a this is a very strange world for me to live in. Honestly, um, it's been exciting. I've been extremely blessed by you guys um quite literally i would have been telling shit and packing this place up if it hadn't been for you guys so um it's taught me a lot about faith i'm by far not a religious person uh, but uh, it's definitely shown me shown me the definition of faith so if nothing else um I want to just show you my appreciation and, and thank you guys for everything you guys really saved my business and are going to continue to allow me to build crazy shit like this and like that and that one will look like that one here in just a few months so i don't know it's a very humbling experience i don't know but anyway i'm kind of out of words i'm kind of out of brain i'm kind of out of i'm kind of out how's that sound so i will see you guys on the next one as always i appreciate you being here please remember to hit that like and that subscribe and that thumbs up button for me if you don't want to miss miss my updates make sure you hit that bell for me uh other than that we'll see you on the next one and you guys will probably see a couple more videos out of the shop it won't be work it'll be us moving and selling and getting ready stuff next official shop update you guys will see will be at the new facility in salem appreciate you guys have a good night have a good afternoon weekend week morning lunch, dinner. Peace out, guys. Take care.